Welcome to the Small Business Office Showcase, where daily we provide you a quick tour of a government agency's small business portal or something similar from a large prime. We understand that as a small business, time and resources are limited. We hope by quickly summarizing this information, we save you time and perhaps put you one step closer to your next contract. In this episode, we're going to focus on the Department of Homeland Security. To make it easier for you to quickly do your own research later, the links we discuss will be in the description below. In each episode, we're targeting six pieces of information we think are most valuable to you. Does this agency have a small business portal? Does this agency list out events it hosts or attends so you can plan well in advance? Is there a forecast for the next 12 to 24 months that will help you identify opportunities? Does the agency provide a list of current primes that have an obligation to subcontract to small businesses? Is there any special registration required for this agency? Finally, is there a list of people available that you can reach out to for help or to get questions answered? You can already see the basic results on this slide, but let's go ahead and get started on our tour. We begin with the first bullet, which is the Ozdebu page, and they have an Ozdebu portal that is um, awesome. I just uh, can't say enough about this. As you see this video tour that we're going to do, they just provide a ton of information to us small businesses, all sorts of stuff, things I didn't even know that I cared about. I begin to look at it and find value. And they're not, and I, and I say this um, respectfully to others, but they're not regurgitating what SBA puts on their site. They're actually you know, putting in new information. They're thinking about how can they really help small businesses. So this page is your starting point and come in here and take a look at it. There is so much stuff in here um, that you'll find valuable. I would come in, if you're interested in doing business with DHS, I would take an entire day or two days and just dedicate it to learning what they're telling you and um, that will help you so much down the road as you move forward. That's the first bullet. The second bullet's the events that we're looking for. Do they provide us a list of their events? And when you come into the Small Business Assistance page, uh, they got a lot of different activity in here and the events are listed under networking. So in here they definitely reference you to other tools that you can get out there and, and see what's there. Um, but they talk about their regular sessions and you can reach out and begin to learn more about this. I think DHS is also one that has sessions that are sometimes dedicated to a hub zone or a veteran owned type firms or something. Um, so reach out to these folks and begin to find out more. But there's the link for the events. Um, there's not a lot out there. That, that kind of concerns me. But, um, oh, I'm sorry. They're just showing the next one. Uh, I take that back as I click through. Um, they have their entire outreach sessions right here on the calendar. And here, this is where we talk about it. So you see they have um, this session's reserved for SDVOs. Um, this session here on March 15th is for women-owned businesses. So as you go through, you can begin to see um, which ones are out there. Hub Zone. They're really trying to um, provide a couple that are just dedicated out there. Uh, let me kind of come back here to this. And that's your vendor outreach sessions through the fiscal year. Let me go back here to the bullets. The forecast that we're going to be looking at next is right here. And inside of the um, forecast, there's all sorts of uh, activities that are in here. So come through here to this page. I'll provide the links below as well. But you know, when you look at the science and technology opportunities, um, these are things for you to explore. But the forecast that I'm going to talk about is right here. And I'm starting here. It's going to pop you to a page and then redirect you somewhere else. Uh, this thing is so old. I don't know why they don't just update, update the link and send you past this page. But you can come in here, and here's where you get into the um, forecast. One of the things I really love is that you can sit there and get notifications. So as new things are popping on, you, you're able to see it. Uh, if you're not if you're not totally familiar with uh, DHS, they got a lot of components, and each one of these components is almost like its own agency or department. They certainly operate on their own, and so you're able to see the forecast there. But here, um, let's go ahead and pop into the full forecast just for a second, so you can kind of see what's here. They provide a lot of information. Here's an example of just one forecasted opportunity. Um, so much information in here. They give you the ability to export it to C, uh, CSV, the Excel, so you can manipulate the data your, yourself. But this forecast is just awesome. Uh, the way they display it here is pretty cool. And um, your ability to kind of sub it. So let me, let me actually try mine. I always like to try mine occasionally, not a vehicle. What am I looking for? This thing, the small business program. So I'm a hub zone. Uh, let me go ahead and filter the request and see what they got in there. 
I don't see a count. I don't know if I'm missing a count on there, but two pages. That's a good amount of hub zone stuff, though. Um, but you can sit there and uh, filter it as you want, or you can just export the whole thing. And you noticed before, you could also just look at a particular uh, agency or component, like the Coast Guard. You can just look at their forecast. Excellent, excellent forecast. I really like that. And then going into the subcontracting, that one is equally um, valuable. So here they listed as prime contractors. And as you come down, you begin to see all these prime contractors, and they provide the contact information. Uh, so Accenture, you know, you're able to reach out to Irene and uh, contact her and begin to build your relationship, see if there's an opportunity for you to move forward. This is pretty amazing. I don't know if you've seen this before, but in the videos I've done, I think I'm up to video 26 or something, and um, in here the they tell you what they're looking for. I have never seen that before. This is unbelievable, like agile system development. Well, that sounds like something I might be kind of um, interested in, and I can kind of follow up. Curious on whether that's a one-off or not. Let's go ahead and look at, um, like, booze. Do they list that? Yeah, this is, this is DHS. This is the quality of DHS requiring this of their primes um, to please put that information in so you can see it. So in booze, you can sit there and go, wow, I'm an IT firm. Let me, let me go ahead and proceed uh, with them and, and reach out to talk to them. Knowledge management, you know, these are things that you might be able to figure out. Um, so this is an awesome list of prime contractors. These are the people you can reach out to and figure out whether there's an opportunity for you to grow your business as a subcontractor. DHS doesn't have any special registration process. And let's go ahead and go to the last bullet, which is their points of contact. And again, uh, just like everything else, it's excellent. You come in here, there's a, a lot of different activity in here. Uh, one of the things I just, before I go into those, I'll just come to this other page. They have industry liaisons um, and component industry liaisons. And so these are kind of like industry day people where they're trying to um, build that relationship out there. And here you have, they're, they're not small business officers, right? So you can reach out to these people and begin to try to learn about an organization, a component, and see if you can do business with them. Generally, um, it's for asking questions, but as you look at this stuff, they'll tell you what to do. They'll tell you how to interact with these people. Uh, coming back, even something simple as this, unsolicited proposal. For a lot of small businesses, they've never even heard the term. But in here, not only um, do you have uh, unsolicited proposals and, and you can walk through, but they'll tell you who to talk to. So inside of a CBP, if you're sending it, you're sending it to um, this person, Herman, and there's their information. Um, he's the person responsible for talking to you about unsolicited proposals, and they're doing that at the component level. That's phenomenal. Um, and then also coming down here clearly to the one that is a, is a big deal for a lot of us is the ability to see these small business folks and see what's um, uh, what we can do in there. I actually picked one that was smaller, but let's take CBP again. So there's, Ho there's Herman. So he's the person who's responsible. He is a small business specialist, but he's also – um, handling the unsolicited proposals, and that's very interesting to know. Uh, but there's three people just for CBP. Uh, that's awesome. Uh, they're doing a lot of good stuff in there. Um, let me go ahead and back up. That was the contents, contacts that you have. As you can see, you have um, other ways to reach out to different people. Um, this one is the one I actually didn't even click on, so let's check that. No, no, this is the one I clicked on earlier that leads us to that same spot. So great amount of contacts. DHS just is got, I would argue at the moment, the best presence for small businesses, for me to learn, for me to be able to reach out, for me to be able to do business as a prime, as a sub. If I'm new to DHS, generally you're not trying to win a prime. I mean, if you win a prime contract, that's great. But most of us believe that you come into a new organization as a subcontractor, and they provide the path for us to do that. So uh, I, I Really appreciate DHS doing that for us in the small business office, keeping that up to date. Okay, that concludes this walkthrough. I hope you found this information as uh, helpful as I did as you continue to grow your business. Please provide comments below or reach out to me directly if you have any questions. Use my email address that's in the description. I'm your host, Neil McDonald with SV MacPack. I thank you for joining me today and hope you'll join me again for more video tours.